in the Joburg studio is Andre Kutsia. Let me give you Andre's very grand title. Uh, Andre Kutsia is the managing director of the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply in Africa. We're going to talk about the Purchasing Managers Index, which was released this morning in South Africa. Grand title for you, Andre. Not such grand numbers. We've come down to the lowest level, I think, since, what, uh, 2011? Yeah, the lowest level um, since July um, 2011, Lindsay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 47.1. Is this a, is this a, a very specific uh, uh, fall? Is this because of the labour unrest which has been so well publicised? Or is this uh, an extension of a malaise that the South African economy has been suffering for quite a while now? I think there are basically two factors, obviously the local factors and the strikes um, in the mining sector and um, some of the other sectors definitely had an impact um, and I'm not sure that we've seen um, all of that impact on the, on the, on the PMI. Uh, but then I think also, and I just listened to your, your previous um, interview, um, if you see what's happening to the economy in China, um, EU um, and some of the, our main trading partners, uh, it's not really looking great. So I think it's a combination of what's happening locally and also a bit of what's happening internationally, Lindsay. After rising to 51.1, I'm just reading now from your press release, which you kindly sent me earlier on. Uh, after rising to 51.1 during July 2012, the PMI, which is the Purchasing Managers Index, of course, has now declined for three consecutive months. The index averaged just above 50 in Q3, and the latest reading suggests a notable loss in the manufacturing sector's growth momentum. I was looking at something, we were just get, talking more general terms before we go into the more, into more detail of the sub-index of, of the PMI, uh, Andre. I noticed certain people, some quite high-profile people, for example, Jim O'Neill of Goldman Sachs, economist at that organisation, saying that this is a very much an underrated index, the PMI globally, and people are starting to take real notice of it now. It used to be CPI, it used to be unemployment, and still is unemployment, but the PMI becoming crucial in the uh, fundamental analysis of markets and economies. Yes, no, definitely, um, because if you look at the PMI, um, it has a lead time of about six weeks um, to the actual manufacturing production. Um, so this is the earliest indication of what's happening um, in, the, in the manufacturing sector. Um, and as you know, um, globally manufacturing manufacturing playing a huge role in the economies. Um, and in South Africa, the manufacturing sector is the second largest sector um, in our economy. So it's, it's pretty crucial to, to get a handle very early on what's happening to manufacturing, because that will give you an indication of what's going to happen with, with growth going forward. Mm. The new sales orders uh, component of the PMI is one that interests me. I mean, that's the one that sort of tells me what's, what the uh, companies and their managers are, are thinking about, for example, if they think that uh, because of their, their orders that they've had over the previous three months or the telephone conversations they've had with their potential customers and existing customers, if the new sales orders are buoyant, that means that they are confident that they need stock and therefore that boosts the manufacturing sector. So to me, that's the most important one. Tell us about new sales orders. Well, I think, yes, new sales orders indicative of short-term demand. Um, and exactly what you say, if we see um, that um, new sales order sub-index um, slowing down, um, it does not bode well for, for things going forward because that's indicative of, of uh, demand slowing for, you know, locally and also internationally. OK, so we came down, both indexes lost three points. And when I say both, I mean business activity, which you highlight as one of the key components, and also new sales orders, uh, both lost three points, with business activity falling to 43.2 index points, so well below that cut-off point of uh, 50. How significant is that? I think it's very significant, Lindsay, because if you look at um, uh, business activity and new sales orders, they're the highest weighted in the PMI index, um, and for, 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 for fairly obvious reasons. And that's really also just sort of indicative of, of the impact, um, like I said earlier, of you know, the local conditions, um, the strikes, um, and then also um, in what's happening internationally. So, so those two really don't bode well for, for manufacturing going forward. 
Um, and while we're talking about a few negative things, Lindsay, um, you know, one can also look at the leading indicator within the PMI. And I think that's also something that a lot of people actually miss um, because that's the ratio um, that we've got between inventory and, and new sales orders. And really, um, if that number is, is one or better, um, it actually shows that, you know, going forward, that leading indicator, in, you know, points to, to better conditions. But unfortunately, it dropped again. Um, and looking at the leading indicator within the PMI, um, you know, and some of the other fundamentals around, things really don't look so great for this sector going forward. Talk about that leading indicator again. You said it's the ratio between inventory, which is stuff you've got in your warehouse, and new sales orders, which is stuff that you're ordering in order to put in your warehouse. Why is that so important? Well, you know, the PMI, um, I think we're all always trying to look at something that will sort of predict the future. Um, and within the PMI, there's actually um, this leading indicator, and I'll come back to that now, but also the expected business conditions going forward. Um, and if, funny enough, this month is a bit of a, a contradiction because um, if you look at expected business condition, it increased slightly to 57.1, indicating that people are slightly more bullish, but it's actually um, sort of negated by, by the, um, the, the leading indicator within the PMI. And, and basically what it just says is that there's not enough demand um, if it's negative, you know, for, for um, to actually, um, you know, take care of the inventory. So there's a build up of, of, build up of inventory, uh, but not, uh, not, not enough demand to actually, um, you know, to, to, to make use of that inventory. So that's really not, not a good sign. What about uh, prices paid and what about uh, em employment? We've just had the official, the official, I stress, unemployment rate uh, released in South Africa uh, this morning, 25.5% up from 24.9%. We had the inflation rate uh, jumping, the CPI inflation rate, uh, Andre, jumping from 5 to 5.5%, which is a massive, massive jump. What did the PMI tell us? Well, firstly, if we look at the, the price index, it actually rose again, sort of also just showing that, you know, there's a rise of, of, of prices or that's what the purchasing managers are experiencing. Um, maybe indicative of, of PPI inflation to, to, to tick higher um, in the future. Um, and then again, coming back to the employment, and I think that was one of the sub-indices that we've really been watching with, with the hawk's eye to see if that can't improve. And if you look at um, unemployment, really this sector has been really very hard hit in terms of job losses. And unfortunately, um, although it's a little bit better than the previous month, still below that 50, um, and it's been below 50 for, for quite a while, barring one month that we have saw a spike. But really, this is a sector that can add a lot of jobs um, you know, to, to the South African scenario. And unfortunately, this sector, like I said, the second largest sector in the economy still shares adding jobs, not adding jobs, and it really sort of, um, sort of underscores and confirms that um, unemployment numbers. Mm. Which are a national tragedy, actually, and hopefully in 2013, after Mangaon and the sort of uh, torpor that is being instilled in decision making because of Mangaon. Once that's out the way, hopefully 2013 will be uh, a year when we can actually start chipping away at, as I said, this national tragedy. Um, we're all s sort of slitting our wrists at the moment because of these numbers that we're discussing at the moment, Andre. But here's a note of optimism. You say, uh, it says here, Andre Kutsia concluded, and this is where I'm quoting you, of interest is that for the second month in in a row, purchasing managers were more optimistic about the future. The index measuring expected business conditions in six months increased by 1.6 points to 57.1. So that's good. Is that mean? Is that just a, a South African trait that uh, when things are, when times are tough, we say to ourselves, "Well, it can't get any worse," or is this based on genuine facts? Do you think? Well, I think it's a bit of both. You know, we're coming off such a low base, so at some stage we actually need a bit of optimism. Um, but yes, now I think this is of actual numbers. People actually, um, you know, when they are, are interviewed um, or when they um, compile this um, report, they indicate that they're slightly more optimistic. But if you look at where that number came from, Lindsay, it was much higher when it, where it is now. So if you look at the trend, albeit a lot, slightly better than the previous month, you know, they, they 
much less optimistic as what they were a few months ago. And like, like I said earlier, unfortunately, I think the weighting here is towards the leading indicator of the PMI. Um, unfortunately, again, sort of indicating um, you know, worse, worse conditions for the sector going forward. At least do the short I was going to ask you that. Actually, take your statistical hat off and, uh, and, and tell me about your gut feeling about what's going to happen for the last couple of months of this year and the first half, say, of 2013. What is, uh, what is your feeling? Well, I think you've, you've just mentioned it. Um, I think if we can get Manga Hung out of the way and we'll have to see um, what, what comes out of that, that could um, you know, either uh, be very positive or perceived as being positive or negative. And I think that will have a, a quite, a, quite a big impact on, on, on the economy and, and the sector. Um, yes, yeah, so, so I think that is, that is one of the, the, the major issues. Um, but also, I think if we can sort out our labor issues, you know, these sort of protracted and prolonged strikes, um, like I said in the beginning, I don't, see, I don't know and I don't think that we've seen um, all of that impact of those strikes, um, the labor unrest um, in, this, in, this, in these numbers. So I expect, you know, certainly for the, for the short term, these numbers to actually deteriorate slightly um, from, this, from this level.